Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's. Today we're going to talk about the basics of auto steer. We'll have a couple of, of maintenance Mondays or maybe even three of them that will go through the, the basics on how to start doing auto steer in a Fent tractor. Um, we get lots of requests for that so this will be just a little brush up and something that you can access from your phone when somebody isn't available to help you with it. So we're going to start with the basic here. Um, so what we do is we touch the satellite button and then touch the satellite button again to expand the menu. And then the first thing you've got to do with, with the Vario Guide system is you've got to go into the implement settings. So you press that implement button. Um, then we're going to say plus, right? We're going to add an implement. So we've got a rear mounted implement and then we hit the check mark and it brings it up and it asks us what style of implement. So we're just gonna pick a drawbar mounted implement and then we hit the check mark again. It asks us to name it. Uh, we'll just leave it as implement two to make it easy. So then we're gonna go in and we're gonna adjust the implement settings. So we've got implement two, we're, we're pulled on the drawbar. We have a rigid axle and then we go in and we're gonna set our width. So you touch the box and we're gonna say that we have a 50 foot implement, uh, zero inches wide. So then it automatically adjusts our center distance to 25 feet. Um, we're gonna put in 15 feet. Uh, we can pretend that it's a harrow or something like that, but 15 feet. So that just gives you more accurate steering to compensate for the, the hitch length on the implement. And then the other thing that you can do is you can go in here, you can either have it set to manually map that you turn it on and off yourself, or you do auto and then you can pick, so something like this we would pick that we have it engaged with the auto steer. Of course you can see you can have it with a, an external switch and we can order one of those for you through parts. You can have it where you activate a hydraulic valve, the PTO or the three point hitch, but we'll just leave it as with the auto steer. So now we've got that set. We hit the return button and go back to our main menu. And then the next thing that we would do is we would begin to set a line. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.